All right, you're not gonna hear me talk a lot throughout all my videos because I hate talking. But right now, I'm working on the first part of a raised uh, shelter. I don't know what the weather is like here in the winter in this area. And I'm right by the river over there. So, yeah, right now I'm making a triangle formation between that tree over there, this tree, and the tree right over here, right out of view. You might be able to see a little bit. So once I get that done, I'll update you on how that looks. See you in a moment. Alright, so I've got the triangle up now. I'll take you in for a closer look. I'm not really good at knots, as you can see. This is paracord. This is some stuff I got with a tarp. There's the other end. And notice how I've done that with the branches. I wanted to make it so it's a little bit more stable. I did that on this side and on this tree too. And yes, this is a big mess. But it holds me, so that's good. I didn't cut those ends off yet because I might keep those and I might build something off that. So next part, and yeah, there's some wiggle. Next part is to uh, layer this off with wood, like some plank. That is not some plank since there isn't any. I, though there is, I'd make some. But I don't have the tools for it. The only tool I use, I'm using right now is this really crappy, no name, uh, folding saw. I need a, I need to get a knife and I need to get a axe. So I'll, Bring you back to the next part when I have this laid out and then I'll show you a test of me standing on it. And I really don't know if it's going to hold, so maybe it will, maybe it won't. Also, there's this building in the background. It's an old abandoned uh, sh like shat thing because the river is right over there. I'll take you there in a moment after I'm done um, with these logs. So, see you in a moment. I'll actually take you down to the lake right now, um, river actually. So here's the shelter, here's my bike, and we're just gonna walk over here. The reason I'm taking you now is because I'm gonna check the riverbed for some logs. But because you're not gonna hear me a lot, I'm gonna tell you now that I'm going to be posting like some music or something with my videos, like firecraft, stuff like that. And then I'll just leave it like that. You're not gonna hear a lot of talking from me. Look at this, a big steel table. And that goes to nothing. But like I said, here's the riverbed. And I'm still in a city because I don't live anywhere near a place to walk. So right over here, we've got um, something called the River Trail. And it's obviously because it goes along the river. But there's tons of people that go all across this every day. And you can't see it, but over there's some train traps. All right, I'm gonna head off and find some wood. Bye. Unfortunately, guys, I can't finish the shelter today. I got three logs over here, three right here, about four right there. So you can sort of see what I'm doing now. I'm gonna attach, um, you can't really see it, but there's a wider part of the tree here. And there's these, this gap. I'm gonna put a log right there, and then one going out that way. And that'll make the first part of the lane to sort of shelter the A-frame or whatever. Uh, um, I actually have to go because this right here is a makeshift bandage out of my, my sock and some of this cord, but I got cut up the saw right there. It slipped and it, I don't know how deep it went. I'll show you a, guys a picture later. Um, well, actually part of you see it when I uh, stop talking in a moment. Later, f later for me, like in 
five seconds or so for you. But I gotta hike my bike back to the train track switchers over there, cross it, go down there, then about five miles home. So, some squirrels are throwing stuff at me. It looks like I can do some trapping here a lot. There's a lot of uh, animal holes right over here. There's a whole bunch of berry bushes. Uh, that right there is a hole in the tree. So I like this spot, and it's right next to the river. I'm going to use the underside for this um, as a place to store firewood. And with this much space, it's going to be enough of it. I'm going to turn this also into a super shelter. It's going to be used during the winter. Um, please give me any information you can about what I should do to make this better. And I'll look through all the comments. I promise on that. And you will probably be able to see what I have done. I'm actually, that's, I don't have a lot of paratroid or any toward left really, so I might have to come back next month um, with some better tools um, and some more cord so I can finish this. All this right here is the branches and leaves that came from this. This is all live wood. I chose that because of all the dead wood that's around here is actually just gone. So I'm gonna make that into some bedding once I get the rest of this on. I'm probably gonna have to figure something out because this looks a lot thinner than it does in person like on the camera. So we'll have to see. I Probably going to sleep lengthwise with my head over here, with my deer right there, and I don't know, we're going to see. But I'm starting to lose feeling in my thumb. Uh, this is keeping the blood at bay, but I should get going because I'm definitely a little lightheaded. There was a lot of blood that gushed out when I went to look at it. Uh, yeah, bye, and look at that photo.